we're gonna make a four-sided square motif, most commonly referred to as a granny square. For this granny square, we're gonna start with a simple worsted weight yarn and a 4.5 millimeter hook. You can start a motif in a lot of ways. For this one, we're gonna start with a chain stitch or with a chain ring. And so we're gonna start with a slip, a slip knot, and then we're gonna chain five. Two, three. We're then going to make a ring by slip stitching into the first stitch of the chain to connect the last stitch with the first stitch. And this will create a ring that we can work into. I like to wrap my tail around my ring to weave in the end, but there's another way that we can weave in the end as well, and I'll show you that when we're done. To work the first part of this granny square, we're gonna start by chaining three. This first chain three is gonna count as our very first stitch. We're going to then work two double crochet stitches into the ring. So there's one and there's two. So there's my first two double crochet stitches and my chain three, which counts as my very first double crochet. We're then going to chain two. This is gonna be our corner. And then we're gonna make three more double crochet stitches inside that ring. And then we're gonna chain two again. This is our second corner stitch. We're gonna repeat that and work three double crochet. In the ring, we're going to chain two again. This is our third corner. And then we're going to work three double crochet and a chain two to complete our last corner. We are going to connect our last corner chain to complete the square with a slip stitch to our chain stitch. And so once we connect that, I'll put this down and you can see, we're starting to get a square shape just a little bit. We have corners that are chain stitches and then we have double crochet stitches that create the sides. So now to do our second round, we have to get over to our first corner stitch. So to get there, we're gonna slip stitch into those first two double crochet stitches that we made. So we slip stitch across those and then we're gonna put a slip stitch into the corner and that puts us in our corner stitch. And then we're gonna chain three and that counts as our first double crochet for round one. We're then gonna work two more double crochet. We're gonna chain two. We're going to work three more double crochet to complete the first corner. So that's the first corner. Three double crochet. The first one is our chain three. Chain two, three double crochet. Then we're gonna chain one, and this is gonna set up our first side stitch. We're gonna repeat the process and put three double crochet in the corner, chain two, three double crochet. Remember, and then we're gonna chain one that puts our next side, and then we're gonna work in the next corner. You're gonna work three double crochet stitches in each corner, and then chain two. And remember, each time you chain two, that is your corner space that you're gonna be working into on each subsequent round. So now that I've completed my third corner, I'm gonna chain one for my next side, and then I'm gonna work three double crochet chain two, and then three double crochet. In the corner. 
Now we're back to where we started with the first corner. So we're gonna work a chain one. This completes our last side. We're gonna join to that very first chain three that we created, which counts as our first double crochet stitch. We're gonna join to that stitch with a slip stitch to complete the side. And so when I put this down, you can see, now we actually have a square. And you can see here are the four corners, and here are our sides. So to work round two, you're going to slip stitch into the first two double crochet stitches in that, on that side. You're gonna slip stitch into that chain two corner space, and then you're gonna start round two. You're gonna start it the same way as we started every other round. We're gonna start with a chain three. This counts as our first double crochet. You're then gonna work two more double crochet into that chain space. You're going to chain two. That's your first corner. And then work three more double crochet in that corner space. So chain three, two double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Then you're gonna chain one. Now we have a chain one space between those two groups of three double crochet. We're gonna work three double crochet stitches in that chain one space. and then we're gonna chain one again. There's always going to be a chain one in between your double crochet groupings. And now we're to our next corner. So we're gonna work three double crochet stitches. And then chain two, that's our corner. And then three double crochet stitches. And now our second corner is complete. So here's where we started, here's our second corner. So now we have to work our way across this side. So we're gonna chain one and work three double crochet in that first chain one space. And then we're gonna chain one again once we've com completed those three double crochet and then we're gonna work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the next corner. Then we're gonna chain one and work three double crochet in our next chain one space. And then we're gonna chain one again and work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one, and now we're on our very last side at our very last chain one space. And we're gonna work three double crochet into that last chain one space. First, we're going to chain one. Then we're going to join our last stitch to our first stitch, which is our first chain three. Join with a slip stitch to complete the final side. So all of your subsequent rows will work the exact same way. You're gonna slip stitch into your first two double crochet stitches. Then you're gonna slip stitch into your chain space corner. You're gonna chain three, which will count as your first double crochet. You'll double crochet two more times to complete your three double crochet. Then you'll chain two, then you'll work three double crochet. Then 
You'll chain one and every single chain one space across the side, you'll work three double crochet stitches until you get to your next corner where you'll work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and you'll just complete that all the way around until you connect back to your first side. We'll just continue to expand each side with either with a chain one space and three double crochet. So each side will grow by three, a three double crochet cluster and a chain one. And then you'll just keep doing that until the square is the size that you want. Once your, once your granny square is the size that you like, you can use it to make a pillow or a shirt or really anything that you desire. It's as easy as that. Until next time, happy stitching.